What the hell? You're probably like, what the heck is going on here? Huh? I'm like, what the hell is going on here? <laughs> Y'all, look, look at this. 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 Y'all, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. We're going to get some good ratings. Look at this. Look at this, y'all. Look at this. Look at this. First off, streamers are now running the world. I'm going to say it again. Streamers, YouTubers, streamers, streamers mainly. If you're a major streamer, you are like in the next 10 years will be running the world. They will be the most powerful people in the world. We have a streamer talking to potentially the next president who's already president. Come on now. <laughs> Everyone thought this was going to be fake. Why also why would you go political, bro? Not even hating. Let's just let me let's let it rock. But uh, you know, we proved the wrong. So. That whole quiet. Hold on, hold on, hold on. They got to fix the audio. It can't sound like this. <laughs> I um I do, do you, so do you know what live Does it get louder? Let me see. So great. And there we go. There we go. Let's wait until they get that mic up. I really wanted to make this stream. <clears throat> yep. So there are other there we go. W's and stuff. Yep, W Trump. All right. So yeah, everyone everyone is just super thrilled. Oh, you don't have big <clears throat> yeah, I want to I want to break a million. If you could do it. Good. You think so? Oh, I'm excited. Yeah. I'm thrilled. Elon, uh, Elon actually already, uh, he commented on uh, the, uh, the X post that I went live. Elon is a great guy. Yeah, he's great. Little imagination. He's got this. Yeah. Little imagination? Yeah. Everything. He's great. So uh, let's get started today. Let's have some fun. We'll touch base on some topics. And then we'll do some fun stuff. Cool? Let's have a good time. All right, well, the first thing is, you know, the reason why, you know, I, I really wanted to make this trip happen is because there's a lot of people that are first-time voters watching today. Um, you know, and I, I want to make it very clear <laughs> to everybody that you're a human being, you're a great human being. Um, and um, I want you to basically talk to, talk in this camera, talk to them and, and explain why it's very important as a first-time voter to go out and vote and why they should vote for you. This is just so crazy, and we can't hear. The audio is going to get better. I've seen it. But this is crazy, bro. Streamers are now talking to the president and pushing political agendas. I'd love to do that. I don't know. <clears throat> it's about the American dream. Right now, you don't have the American dream. You have a country that's not respected. I can't hear you. Just a little while ago, we have a stock market explosion in a negative He's going to fix the mic. That's been happening for quite a while. It's, uh, it's been simmering and really happening for quite a while. And we're going to make this uh, country so yeah, strong and so louder. great. And when you're ready for your job, you're going to get a great job, a job so you can make the kind of money this guy's making, maybe even, <laughs> maybe even more if that's possible. Right? I'm trying to get like maybe. you, boss. But, uh, mm. but you'll, <laughs> you'll love your life and you'll be successful. Mm. And at a young age, it's really wonderful to think about the American dream. And with uh, Kamala... And you know, Joe, I took him out. He was, uh, <laughs> I uh, took uh, him out. It's crazy. Debate, and the debate didn't go so well for him. And he sort of what they did, you know, it was really a coup. Hey guys, how does his ear look right now? No, I, I, I forget. What I'm talking about 14 million votes. He nah. had it, and all of a sudden they went to him it. and they said, "We don't want you as we don't want you running anymore." And it's sort of like a price fight from my state. Hey guys. You didn't. Okay, so he had some. There was scratch. Let's go. Let's keep running. You focus on this one man, and all of a sudden you're fighting makeup. somebody else. But his makeup. Maybe it was makeup. Maybe his makeup. They is. they covered up scars. And you're starting to see that. I think people are makeup. going to see that very. It's going to be very <laughs> evident. So, uh, go out. We want the American dream. We're going to give you the American dream, and uh, you're going to be real happy. Thank you. Uh, I have another question. And again, Mr. President, you know I'm not really fully into politics, but, you know, I'm, I'm getting there. And I, I do want to make this very clear as well. It's on my mind. You know, back when I was in, uh, I went to high school in California. Right? Right. Um, and, you know, a lot of the, uh, the <laughs> teachers uh, were basically at the time, you know, this is, this is your first term. They were telling me how horrible a person you are and all these things. And 
the teachers, you're not supposed to do that. It's inappropriate to have teachers, you know, discuss politics in school. But it's becoming really normal for a lot of teachers. Mm. Uh, you know, and you're a kid, you, you know, when you're a kid, your, your brain is like a sponge. Yeah. So um, I want to know what your thoughts on that, you know, kind of the corruption in the school system in a way. You know, oh, teaching boy. Some pretty bad stuff in there. It's been brainwashed. Even the teachers have been brainwashed. They've learned from a long time, it's long before me, this liberal way, or now they call it progressive. They don't like the term liberal. They don't like to use that anymore. Like, wow. They don't like to use that anymore. But, uh, this, this liberal way that they have, and it's a bad thing, a bad thing for the country. You know, we want to have borders. We want to have low taxes. We want to have great schools, really you know, great schools, so you can go and learn. Man, and be Aiden, and have a for you to be this big, bro. That, but we want to have a good military so we can protect ourselves <laughs> from some bad players you got some bad players out there and you know it's interesting during my four years we had no war other than we we had nothing everybody was afraid we we're gonna have wars and just the opposite <laughs> north korea uh, there you go Denver, Barack Obama putin. Was me, oh, the biggest problem we have is north korea i didn't have a problem. Next, say putin next no. big nuclear presence i didn't have a problem uh, the only war we had was already started long ago and that was isis and we defeated i defeated them and i he defeated them I remember. Very quickly. <clears throat> very quickly. We had no wars under the Trump administration, and that's a great thing. You know, that's a really great thing. It was, I think, 82 years since that's happened. And mm. we won't have wars again, but we could have a war before we even get there. That's the problem. We have a number of months. We have four months, and uh, the election's starting very soon, and I guess five months before you actually get in. And a lot of damage can be done in five months by incompetent people. We have very incompetent people right now. And I'm not saying that out of happiness. I'm saying that sadness because our country's in tremendous danger not only of, of stock market crashes or depressions or whatever it may be it's a, a tremendous military danger we have israel's you know up, what Aiden, i think up, this is messing up because you weren't supposed and to do things this are out of control and we have nobody that knows how to talk. i think the audio was effed up because you weren't supposed to do this you was not supposed to step into the political field but you're a streamer and you make your own money and you make your own choices. So I'm not mad at you, but I think as entertainers, we know you, the golden rule, you don't really cross that one. But it, I mean, it, you could, of course, talk about it, but you standing on it, you standing on it. And that's fine, but I don't know, the powers that may be might, might you know. Awkward. Nobody that knows me. I was watching when Russia was thinking about going in and they never would have done it with me. And they didn't, but they never, after I got <coughs> started loading up the border, I thought he was doing it for negotiation purposes. And by <laughs> he said, thought he was doing it for negotiation purposes. Everything wrong. And ultimately they attacked, and they wouldn't have done that if I were president. So we got to get back in and get it straight now. We'll get that one worked out. 100%. A lot of people dying. Yeah, it's, it's a lot of innocent lives being lost. You know, you, you had mentioned, um, you know, the stock market crashing. I don't know if you, you obviously, I saw the, the, the post you made on uh, your app, Truth. You know, what I just saw yesterday and the day before, you know, I'm in crypto and I'm right. in stocks myself right. and I couldn't believe what's going on. You know, you have Japan, you have everybody just <clears throat> falling. And um, I want to ask you, you know, how do we basically get it back up and flowing and back up and running? And, um, you know, Trump don't know. Causing this? So right now you have no confidence. You have somebody that now is taking over from Biden because uh, he just wants to stay in bed all day. He can't get he wants to stay in bed. He would know it was Damn. a fraud. They tried to tell people he was confident. He knew what he was doing. And in the debate, he was uh, adjudged to be not so good. Yeah. But uh, you can go back four years, too. You know, he campaigned from his basement. He didn't campaign. I said, where is this guy doing COVID? They used COVID as an excuse not to let him talk. Yeah. The whole thing was a fraud, and everybody knew it, and they knew it strongly. Thank God. And uh, Fix the get it fucking going. mic. get it going again. It's... Uh, Fix it. Us in a very bad position. The worst thing is we have probably, I think, Aiden, 20 million people. Motherfuckers. Y'all still can't get the damn mic right. right. And many come from prisons. And and you can be a liberal and your people can be, but coming from. Are you checking your chat, bro? All over the world. Fuck Trump, yourself. check the chat. All over the world. The chat gonna tell you they can't the Congo, hear that shit. In Africa, they come from all over the world, they're coming. And they're releasing their prisoners into the United States. Now, you can be a liberal guy. You can be progressive as, as anybody in the world. And you can't. I ain't going to lie. Trump looks tired. He looks like he is tired. I think that's a positive thing. 
They're coming out of mental institutions. They're pouring into the United States, and they're hurting and damaging our country, and they're killing our people. And the crime rate with, with what you're talking about and what we're talking about, the, we call it migrant crime. It's a new form of crime, and it's a very violent crime. And it's uh, going to take on proportions the likes of which this country has never seen before. And crime? These people are just getting accustomed. These are people coming out of mental institutions, prisons and jails, and many terrorists. We're having record numbers of terrorists coming in. So I'm talking, I assume, mostly to a young audience. But a young audience, no matter where they're coming from, they can't be happy about this. No. No, they can't. Uh, jobs are being taken. A lot Just. of crime. Fix that issue. How, what if, what if uh, you know, <clears throat> I happen to be born in another country and I want to come the right way? Uh, how, how, would, uh, how would that work? Well, that's what we want. We want people to come in, but they have to come in through a system, through a legal system. And, you know, one of the things that's unfair is we have hundreds of thousands of people that have a... He is a good detour. He's not ever going to answer your question fully. He's just going to start to answer your question, and he's going to go the way he wants to go. He asked him, what's the steps to get in here legally? And did you he's listen to his answer? Applied to come in, and this administration doesn't talk to them. Right. But if they walk through the southern border, they have no problem getting in. I don't right. even know why they're doing this. But some people are waiting 10 years to come in, and they've studied. They learned all about the... He said, Mr. President, if I want to get in the legal way... How do I do that? And this is his response. United States, about our Constitution, about everything. And right. uh, they're, not let in, they're not being let in. And we're allowing people to come in from really rough places, really bad places. And mind you, I am not a Kamala fan either. I'm, I'm just, I review the highlights. That's it. I just, I'm just checking people's, checking with people, just heat checks. And they come in through caravans. And, you know, these caravans have 10, 20, 30,000 people. And wow. they're pouring through Mexico. That's crazy. And Mexico was great when I was there. They were helping us. I had stay Does Aiden know? And is he, like, really just playing? Like, is he playing on Trump? Like, I think there's a part of him that's serious. But another part of me thinks, like, he's actually playing. In Mexico. You can imagine what that is. That means you have to stay in Mexico. You yes, Mike still sucks. Until we approve you. Jesus. Now they just walk right in. Wow. They had catch and release. We had catch and release. That's you catch a criminal and you release him into our country. I said, no, no. We catch a criminal and we release him into Mexico. I think you feel better about that. <laughs> yeah, so, definitely. You know, it's one of those you things. You catch There's a so criminal. They Hold on. Hold on. Aiden, he just said you catch a criminal and release him in Mexico. He didn't say you catch a Hispanic and release him in Mexico. He just said you're not... He just be talking, bro. Trump just be talking, bro. So, My no, niggas no. is calling we me. We catch in. a criminal and we release him into Mexico. I think you feel better about that. <laughs> yeah, so, definitely. You know, it's one of those things. There's so many things. They are so <clears throat> bad. It's like amateur night. It's either amateur night or they want to destroy our country. Right, right. Do you, uh, what, do you, what do you think about what's going on in Venezuela? the whole situation out, out there? Well, I know it very well. And Venezuela is right now uh, being run by a dictator. We're, we were enemies oh, with Venezuela. He probably friends with this dictator. And people could have he liked dictators. They're in our country now. Uh, they've released tremendous numbers of criminals into our country. If you look at Caracas, it was known for being a very dangerous city. And now it's very safe. In fact, the next interview we'll do, we'll do it in Caracas, Venezuela, because it's I'm safer down. than many of our cities after they've released their criminals. Into what? Our yeah. Uh, and you know, I'm kidding. I know. You know, the reason I have to say that, because the fake news media knows that too, but they'll say, he suggested they go to Venezuela. You know, they are so bad, it's hard to believe. <laughs> but anyway, so Venezuela, their crime is down 72% because they've taken their criminal elements, which are law. He in his bag now. Very, it was a very dangerous place, mm -hmm. especially Caracas and the different cities. Mm -hmm. And they've moved them into the United States of America. I know you're very happy. Mm -hmm. I know that your mother and father must be thrilled when they hear that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Who happened to be here, I believe. They are. Right? They're right over there. Hey, Mom, hey, Dad. Are you thrilled? Wow. They're there? I don't think wow. So. <laughs> I don't think they're thrilled. Wow. I don't think so. so That's his mother and father? But, so... Okay. Their crime rate is down 70 They look proud. Right? Because... They're drug dealers, uh, they're criminals, they're murderers, they're rapists. Everything's being moved into the United States. 
And soon they will have moved all of their criminals into the U.S. They won't have crime. So that's why I say we'll go to Venezuela for our next interview. Okay. <laughs> it's a very serious problem. I mean, honestly, yes. what they're doing to this country, they're destroying our country, Aiden. They're mm. destroying stupid people. He's, a, he's not a smart man. He mm -hmm. wasn't smart 35 years mm -hmm. ago. He wasn't smart 20 years mm -hmm. ago. And now he's really nuts. Now he really and you saw that nope. from the debate. <laughs> We've seen that. He's really gone down the tubes. Boy. And she is, look, she couldn't even pass her law exam. She couldn't Jeez. pass her bar exam. Oh, damn. And I'm not saying that because I know other people didn't pass their bar yeah, exam. Yeah, Trump, you definitely could She couldn't. thought she'd never be able to pass it. And uh, this is who we have running yeah, she our country. she probably looked discouraged. She's <laughs> ultra left, ultra radical. I just see where 99 ultra is vicious crazy. terrorists. Ultra is crazy, Trump. We know Kamala don't like it. We know she not black and she not with us, but that's crazy. Ultra, that's like super predator stuff. Don't do that. Come on now. As attorney general, she, because she was attorney general in California, she destroyed California. Her policies have destroyed California. Her policies when she was the district attorney have destroyed San Francisco. San yep. Francisco was the best city in our country 20 years ago. And now it's, uh, you know, not even, frankly, it's not even livable. Damn. We have to bring our cities back. We're going to have to focus on bringing our cities back. It's, it's, it's actually really sad. You know, I lived, I lived in California for a long time. Even uh, Los Aiden talking serious is hilarious to me. Los Angeles, it's, it's, it's not safe. It's just, it's not safe. Everyone I know that lives in multi-million dollar, you know, homes that do what I do, you know, content, they're getting robbed. You know, they're getting robbed. The, the police don't really, you know. Because you live in California. Why take, get your dumb asses out of there. It's hot. <laughs> you, why? I don't, I never got that. Why do the rich want to stay in the popping shit? Move somewhere secluded and drive and fly in and do your business. Stay there for a week. Get an Airbnb. Knock out everything you need to do. Take your ass back home. To Grave Digger Mountain or wherever, you know what I'm saying? Like, why don't the rich think like that? I don't get it. If y'all, if listen, once I get to the money, on, you best believe you will not be able to find me. I'll find you, but you will not find me. No. Uh, they're not. They're not active out there as the, as they are in some other states, and it's really sad. And I agree. I saw a video in San Francisco where people just walk into a, 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 a Louis Vuitton in an Apple store and just loot, 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 and leave like nothing ever happened. It's crazy. They loot, and not only that, they have like $1,000 or $1,500, which she started, where she won't even prosecute if it's less than 1500 bucks. Wow. So you see these people go in with like calculators, and they're adding the stuff that they're stealing <laughs> because they won't be prosecuted. So that if they get dabbed, they say, no, no, it's less than whatever it is, $1,000. And she started the concept of that, and it's now spreading. Our country, we need. Trump, they keep dropping your signs, bro. They playing with your top, bro. You can't let that slide. We need strong leadership. Our, we didn't have stuff like this. You know, when you look at what's happened to this country, and you look at other countries, crime rates all over the world are down. You know why? Because they're all dumping their bad people, their prisoners, and all of the people that are bad. They're, not only, I mean, not only the people on the streets, the people that are in jails. You know what they save by doing that? But they're dumping their prisoners and their criminal elements. They're dumping them into the United States of America. And our crime is going to go through the roof. It's going to go through the roof. And, uh, you know, if we win, and I hope we win, I, we should win, uh, we seem to be winning. And, you know, you can't even imagine. About that, too, Trump, you could have won this without doing anything. And many people have said this now. You didn't have to do any stunts. You didn't have to do anything. Nothing that has happened to up until now needed to happen. You could have been just golfing and doing little mini pop-ups here and there and just doing little talks. And you would still win, even with Kamala doing everything she could because Joe took an L. Joe taking that L put the Democrats like, so it put you here. But, like, when you start doing all this extra stuff, it starts to give them way to come back up, bro. I'm not, like, and I'm not even, I'm, again, I'm not on neither side. I'm just saying, you ain't got to do much, bro. You ain't even got to do this with Aiden. Like, but, yeah, this is, this is good. Imagine that anybody would want these. This has nothing to do with me. Who would want these people? But can you imagine? Uh, they're just getting comfortable now. And they're criminals. So they're sort of laying low a little bit now. Because they're not comfortable. Soon they'll be comfortable. Okay, and then I figured out fine. when Joe is about to like lie on somebody or kind of make you believe something, he does this. This is his thing. I'm telling y'all, I'll be paying attention when he does. When he wants y'all to believe something, he'll do this. 
pay attention to every time you do something don't don't call me a liar just go watch it like start looking at clips when he says something that he you kind of he kind of cooking he making it up on the spot he hits you with this this is it's like believable now i don't know I that our police are they're great yeah but they're not allowed to do their job they're not allowed to be strong don't say allowed. it don't they say could it do their job if don't they say it, like, but if they do their job uh they have their pension knocked out they have their car taken away, their family taken away, their house taken away. Everything's taken away, and they lose their job. It's a very uh, rough thing being a policeman today, I'll tell you. But they could do the job. We're going to have to let them do their job. We have a crime-infested nation. We're a drug-addicted nation, and we're a crime-infested nation. He's basically saying he's going to let them knock niggas off. Like, if, he, if they feel the need to shoot somebody and not get, not make uh, Officer Tim Bob uh, step away, and he can he basically he'll be able to stay on the force without having to step away and get a pension and yada yada, or leave with no pay and things like that. That's what he's about to try to enforce. And what I say to brown people that that scares, and I know this is kind of crazy because we've been we've been from the culture where you know don't snitch yada yada yada, but black people are going to have to be cops point blank period. It's gonna have to be more black cops out here. That's all this is. That's it. It's gonna have to be more black cops because. We get we ain't gonna shoot 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 ourselves. They will shoot your ass. They having a bad day, nigga. I'm not saying that's gonna happen anytime soon. I'm just saying like, if a cop's having a bad day, it could be your bad. Day. It could be your last day. And that's how black people live. That's how brown people live. Like, damn, this nigga could have a bad day and end it for me already. And that's without the immunity. Now Trump's about to give the immunity. I'm not saying anything because again, I'm talking like he's gonna win. So not saying I'm a hate, I'm hating. Again, I'm I'm a balance beam. I'm not here to be on either side. Other than that, we're doing quite well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, I want to uh, move topics a little bit here. You know, I I saw um, I, I'm unfamiliar with exactly what it was called. You were speaking on stage uh, with three other uh, yeah. women, and you just got ambushed. They were late, and not a hi, hello, how are you? just straight into it, just straight trying to rip you apart. And I think you handled it pretty well, but uh, I wanted to ask you a question like, wh why do you think like they just straight up do that for you, but then they're gonna ask the other side, oh, what's oh, your favorite flavor sure. of ice cream? That's right, well, uh, well, I did this as a favor. This was the black journalists. Nope. Uh, the room had maybe 2,000, they said 2,000, it looked more like 1,000 to me, but whatever it was, it was back. Yeah. And I did it because I thought it was a good thing to do, and they had a, uh, Journalist, I don't know, I didn't know who she was, but she was nasty. She was a terrible person. And I walk in, and instead of saying, hello, thank you very much for doing this, they also said, Kamala's going to do it. But then Kamala said, I want it. she wants to do it, because she can't talk to people. She can't answer questions. She hasn't done one interview. You know, she's not doing any interviews. Yeah. Because she, if she did one interview where a hard question's asked, she's incapable of answering. Ooh. But I walk in. Ooh, get him, Trump. Get him, Donnie. Get him, Donnie, because I didn't think about that. We have not seen her answer a lot of hard questions. I feel like she is prepared to. I feel like I maybe heard her, but it could have been practice, rehearsed. Like, I haven't heard her on the spot just answering. That is a good point. Again, and this woman starts talking. Now, Trump, you do be dancing. You are Cinderella on the beat. <laughs> you're Cinderella on these que on anybody's questions. Like again, you an you start you answer the beginning of the question and then you literally take it to the right or to the left or up or down, whichever way you want. You are a maneuverer. So let's not be let's, now. I'm a, I'm gonna go I'm gonna go hunt down Kamala, Kamala stuff and check it out. Cause now that you say that, you're right. I don't think she's been saying anything political. I mean, I don't think she she might not. Yeah, well, I, you you might be on to something, uh, Donald. About, uh, she talked about, we have, let's get rid of the elephant in the room. And she starts talking about racism and everything. I said, you didn't even say hello to me. And I'm doing them a favor by doing right. this. I'm doing this out of respect <clears throat> to the black community. And we're getting record numbers. He said, hmm as you know in the black community and she came across you know she's with abc fake news which is one of the worst abc is one of the worst right and she is horrible 
So she was very nasty. Uh, Harris Faulkner was there. She was excellent. The other person I didn't know, she was okay. I wouldn't say she was great, but she was okay. But I did it, and it was quite a sensation. Actually, a lot of people think it was uh, well handled. The woman was so rude. So rude. That, so you know, rude. it's hard to believe. You can walk into a thing, and I do them a favor, and I do this. Most people said, why are you doing it? I feel I have an obligation to do it. I want to look with it. You become the president for all of the people. Right. Not for a certain segment. Correct. Not even for just my, you know, they talk about my base. It's a very big base. But you become president for all of the people. So I feel you have an obligation to do that. Now, she's not doing anything. She's not doing any interviews. Because I don't believe she's capable. She starts, I don't know, she's strange. The whole thing is strange. Let's put it this way. Our country's in big trouble. Yeah. I spoke to uh, your son, Don Jr., uh, when I met you in Doral. Right. Um, I spoke to Don Jr. a little bit. He said, "Man, I, you know, I feel for the, you know, the young generation. You guys are look, look, look at this. Like, look what's going on here. Like, it's, it's like you need these next four years. If not, I don't. He's like, I don't know how well the country's going to do after these four years. Um, I don't think it survives. I really don't. Damn. Look, we're going to have 20 million people in by the time this election takes place. 20 million people. That's <laughs> that's bigger than New York State. Uh, many of those people are people that you should not have. And and." We're all for everything, you know, every, all men are created equal, as the expression goes. Right? Of course. And now today they say all men and women are yeah. created equal. When yeah. they wrote that, it was a slightly different time. Today, it's a, that alone is a politically incorrect yeah. statement. Yeah, it right? is. So all men and <laughs> women is. are created equal, everything. <laughs> but the fact is, uh, when you're dumping all of these criminals and all of these uh, drug dealers, uh, all of these people into our country, you're really hurting our country badly. And it, it has to be... Uh, we have to take very strong measures. We definitely do. We definitely do. Um, moving, moving to the the next. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, I didn't know. I didn't know they were allowed to applaud. That's yeah, they're allowed to applaud. You guys can keep applauding. All right, that's <laughs> common sense, right? <laughs> you know, it is about common sense. I mentioned that term because whether you're conservative, liberal, it's it's all about common sense. It is. You want to have good education. You want to have borders. You want to have low interest rates. Be able to buy a house. You want to, you know, so of many course. different things. But you got to have common sense. And and we're run by people. This is interesting. And, you know, bro. just a little thing. When I started campaigning, almost like eight years ago, mm -hmm. we talked about Merry Christmas. We should have Merry Christmas again. Let's bring back Merry Christmas. Just, uh, you weren't allowed to say Merry Christmas. I got it back. Yeah. You got it back. A nice crowd, huh? Even if you're <laughs> Jewish, they like to say Merry Christmas. Every one of my Jewish friends say, we love Merry Christmas. I love, I'm, I'm Jewish. I, I love Merry good. Christmas. Good. And, too. you know, Kamala doesn't. Uh, Kamala, she doesn't like no, it. She doesn't, want, she doesn't want you to use Merry Christmas. Wow. She thinks it's uh, insulting to use Merry Christmas. So we'll have to work on her. <laughs> we'll have to work on her. I, uh, I wanted to ask you a question. Speaking of, you said something about common sense. Someone who has no common sense, yeah. uh, Joe Biden. Uh, do you think he was pushed out, or do you think he made the decision to step down. No, he was uh, not only pushed out, it was a coup. It was a coup. They went in to see him, he did badly. The debate was a disaster. It was horrible. Okay. Um, I don't know if I was brilliant or if he was horrible. <laughs> Maybe it was a combination of both. Yeah, yeah he was I know one thing, they were saying af after I left, I said, uh, you know, that was one of the greatest debate performances we've ever seen. And then two days later, they just said he was terrible. Right. You know, they never gave, they right. took away, they took away the great debate performance stuff. Yeah. But anyway, but no, I, I mean, I did fine. And he, he is, uh, he shouldn't have, look, he's done tremendous damage to our country. He was a terrible president. He was the worst president we've ever had. She's by mm. the way considered the, the most unpopular vice president we've ever had. But she's a horrible, she's worse than he is. I actually think he's smarter than her. And I think he's a Joe. really not smart person. But Joe. I think he's smarter than she is. That's but she was convenient. Joe, I'm not Joe. Tuesday. I call you Joe. Y'all have merged in my head. Just old niggas everywhere. Trump, bro, you can't say that, bro. She's a woman. They have better people. I mean, they have much better people. In fact, all of the people that she's looking at are considered much better than her. These were people that were thinking about running. They would have run. Who? What people? Except that they didn't want to go through this roadblock with her. And, you know, because you're the vice president. So they Aiden, you just started some shit, bro. I don't know what you just did, but you just started some shit. Watch. I don't know what you just did, but 
Wow, boy.